Cancer is so easily cured, it's not even funny. This pisses me off. I'm telling you. I, I was in the intelligence world, and in the intelligence world, they hire the best and the smartest and the brightest in any given field. You take the top bioscientist in the world, he probably works for the CIA. Or he works for one of the other intelligence agencies. Dr. Lawrence Royce, man I highly respect, has saved this entire world, and you don't even know it. He was a top bioscientist at the University of Louisville in Kentucky. He grew up in Wisconsin. And when Chernobyl happened, the CIA came to him and said, hey, we need you. You're the best there is. And they signed a contract with him to go run all the doctors and scientists in Russia for 10 years and handle all the problems of Chernobyl. And the things he learned over there, <laughs> he came back here and he bought a college campus and started a company that builds some of the best probiotics in the world. Because uh, Chernobyl had a mushroom cloud about 50 miles wide and 150 miles long. And in that cloud was several villages, right? Villages of people, small towns. And there was an area, almost in the middle of it, that they named it. That looks like a sad face. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I did that, but <laughs> he's a little sad. Should have been happy because that's, they called that the blue area because nobody was getting sick. Now, one thing radiation poisoning does is it reduces your immune system and you can die from the common cold. Anything you get, you could die from because you have no immune system. The radiation destroys it. So you had people all over here dying. But nobody there was even getting sick. I just can't. So they weren't even getting sick. So they set up a laboratory in the middle school. Now, schools all over the world are built the same. Four concrete brick walls, a hallway, and a glass wall leading to the outside. Aren't they all like that? So they set their laboratory up in there, and they started running the villagers in and taking blood and checking them out and checking their health out and testing it. And they had this whole laboratory of microscopes and all kinds of things, whatever they wanted. All they had to say is, hey, I send me two microscopes. The government sent them ten, right? Whatever they wanted. <clears throat> and come to find out, after being there for a couple of weeks, one day a family walks in, and he starts testing the family. And he started looking at these, this family, and it's like eight generations of family members. It says, well, how old is Grandpa? He looks like he's about 80. No, 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 he's not 80. He's 128. 128 years old. Well, his son was 96. And his son was 70. And his son was in his 50s. And his son... You see what I mean? Whole generations. Family. And they're all healthy and they all look younger than they are. They all look younger than they are. And then he's staring out the windows. Every day working, staring, looking out these glass windows. And way over there at the tree line, he sees some huge silos. And he's going, man, I didn't see that many fields around here. That's, those silos would hold a ton of grain. I grew up in Wisconsin. I know what grain silos look like. Those are bigger than anything I've ever seen. Come to find out, those villages, 
was a Russian military chemical weapons biological manufacturing facility. And the Russian government doctors had discovered probiotics that would build their immune system to the point where these people were handling anthrax and other things that would kill everybody and they weren't even getting sick. They had immune systems that were off the charts. Their bodies were young, they were healthy, and they weren't even getting sick. And these probiotics, were they were taking handfuls of them a day. And they were making these people incredibly healthy. So healthy that the radiation poisoning didn't even reduce their immune systems. And he brought that knowledge back with a whole team of Russian and Ukrainian scientists, and he set up a company here just to build pro these probiotics. Probiotics are very important, but there's one problem. Most of us have been eating crap. And we eat crap, and mucus builds up in our intestines, and probiotics don't work. The other problem is how do you get it through the different pH levels of your body, your digestive system? Stomach's very acidic, right? You got to get it past the stomach. That's why yogurt, even though it's good for you, very little of the probiotics get past the stomach because they're not encapsulated. They have to be in a specific type of capsule that doesn't dissolve in the stomach. It dissolves a little bit later. Okay. That's one of the keys they learned. That's why that particular company's probiotics are different than most companies' probiotics. It's because it's a little key to their patented process. Okay? So they figured out by taking an all-natural recipe of various good organic components that you make in a glass jar on your kitchen counter. It takes about two weeks for it to make and then you can use the solids out of the bottom to cook with on steaks really good but you drink an ounce or two a day and that cleans the mucus out you add the right probiotics you use lactobacillus salivarius in your mouth and you won't ever even have to brush your teeth because the lactobacillus salivarius doesn't kill all your probiotics like toothpaste does. Toothpaste is the most poisonous thing you can put in your mouth. A good doctor will tell you the most, the most dangerous aisle in a supermarket is the toothpaste aisle. Yeah. You want to kill your brains? Fluoride. Boy, they used to give kids fluoride tablets to strengthen their teeth. Better their teeth rot out than take fluoride because that kills your brain. I feel very fortunate that I grew up on farms with spring water. I've never had fluoride in water, and why I don't drink it when I go to cities. Helps me think a little above most. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Lactobacillus salivarius, this company won't even make because it's so readily produced and so cheap. It's not worth it. So you can go on Amazon and buy lactobacillus salivarius for five, six bucks for 250 tablets. Open up the tablets, put them on a spoon, put them in your mouth, work it into your gums and teeth with your tongue. It's tasteless. You're going to make me spell it? <laughs> Lacto, lactobacillus salivarius. Now... Now, the probiotics that you need in your gut, and believe me, there's 2,000 varieties of, of probiotics. Think for just a minute, Venus flytrap plants. Ah, North Carolina. North Carolina and the Ukraine are two very rare places on the face of the planet. 